Marilyn Lavender. Goodness. All right, relax. <laughs> Joe, you gonna help her out? <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> you want this gentleman to help you out? Yeah, he was so nice when I came in. So gonna, he kind of helped me out I'm gonna because I was about to get a panic attack, so. Marilyn, I'm gonna tell you something. <clears throat> This is true, I'm not making a joke, okay? This gentleman is my brother. <laughs> she can't believe it, Joe, see? I don't believe it either. Get, it, <laughs> get back over there. He's my brother. So, I can tell you that with the exception of the last couple of months, his entire life, he's never picked up a check. I don't wanna start now. <laughs> As a matter of fact, his entire life, the only time he picked up a check was when he handed it to me. <laughs> so we'll see how compassionate he's gonna be, but if he can help you, I'm sure he will. All right, Joe, make her feel comfortable. I will. All right. All right, Marilyn, don't be nervous, okay? At the end of the day, maybe we can get him to pay something. Oh. <laughs> there goes your pay, Joe. <laughs> there it goes. All right, Marilyn has two red light violations. Marilyn? Yes. <clears throat> On these red light violations, <laughs> if you're doing two tenths of a second when you go through the light, I dismiss them. All right, two tenths of a second. Lisa, what was the time on that one? Two tenths of a second. Judge, I'd agree with you, but at 40, I, uh, at 40, Two tenths of a second is probably <laughs> All right. seven. Let's look at the next one. Speed. Let's look at the next one. We can't do much on this one. And then you had three parking tickets in addition to that. <laughs> then you had a red then you had a speeding violation in the school zone, and you were doing one mile over the permissible amount. So we're gonna give you a break on the one mile. Okay. So that's gonna get dismissed as well. Now, you mentioned something about your son. What do you want to tell me about your son? He's the one that's driving the car. I'm trying to help him out. He just got a new job, and I gave him my car, my new car. So your son's driving the car? And I'm driving another car. So he's the one that's doing all that, all that stuff. How old is your son? He's just turned 28. Oh, he's not a kid. He's, he's not a kid. I know. I know that's why I'm kind of, like, dis disappointed. And, and look where I'm at because of him. Yeah, do you know anything else about this, Joe? <laughs> just, just what she told you. All right, Marilyn, it's gonna cost you, um, for one of the red lights, it's gonna cost you $85, and for one of the parking tickets, it's gonna cost you $20. So it's gonna cost you a total of $105. <laughs> Thank you. Can you afford to pay that, or do you want to go on a payment plan? A payment plan? I don't have a job. All right. We'll give you all the time you need. I want you to know. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn, I guarantee you, listen to me. Just take a deep breath. This is the first, I've never seen this before in my life, I swear to you. He just said he'd pay for it. <laughs> Not good for my ticket job. <laughs> Wait till you get home and tell your wife you can't buy that new dress. Oh. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm so pleased to hear this, Inspector Quinn, because <laughs> since Joe was going to pay, all the penalties that I waived, oh, I'm going to put them back on. That's correct, Judge. <laughs> court, cost on every, court cost on every item. So it looks like it's going to be, I don't know, $1,462. <laughs> Marilyn, good luck to you. Thank you. And God bless you. This young man, actually, he is my brother. He's going to pay for That's pay the That's why he's so for nice, me. because you are very nice. I've been seeing you for years and on TV. So I, I, I pray for you, even though that I, I don't come here. Marilyn, I want to tell you something. I mean this for everyone. You know, so, so, <laughs> whatever we are, my brother or myself and our family, is because of our parents. You know, my parents were immigrants. They came here from another country, and all they taught us was to be nice to people, Try to help people if you can, right? And to be fair and honest. And 
considerate and understanding. And that's what we try to do. Good Thank luck you. to you. I was genuinely puzzled when I first saw Joe standing with Marilyn. But when I found out she was having a panic attack, it made perfect sense. Joe was there to comfort her. It's the way we were raised, to help people who are struggling. The real surprise came later when he volunteered to pay her fines. We love to kid my brother Joe about how frugal he is, and he normally is. But when it comes to helping others, he's as generous as they come. You made me proud, little brother, and I know you made mom and dad proud as well. Anthony McKinney. Morning, sir. Morning, Your Honor. How are you doing this morning? Doing great, Your Honor. You feeling great? Feeling great. Now, let's see how you feel after the ticket. <laughs> your, charge, your charge were parking on the sidewalk on Spruce Street and Acorn Street. That's the uh, Federal Hill section of Providence. Yes, Your Honor. What were you doing up there? Buying a well, pizza? I, no, I do, I do security at the nightclub over there. Oh. Now, I got a picture here that I got on my phone, and I want to show you that it's not a sidewalk. That's the parking lot of secure, so, um, the pizza yeah. parlor. <clears throat> on the corner of Spruce and Acorn, that's where uh, Caserta Pizza is, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, you weren't getting any pizza there, no? No. Oh. I was parked for work. Did you ever buy any pizza there? Yes, I did. Is it good? Excellent. Inspector Quinn, you ever ha have pizza from Caserta's? Yes, I have, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> you never know it. Uh, you know what? It's... You never know. All right. Inspector Quinn, All right. you're a police officer. You know, you... You're trained to uh, recognize people, obviously, if they're wanted, <clears throat> if they look like someone else. You're trained to do that, right? Correct, Judge. Who's he look like? The, uh, the guy from uh, Hangover 3. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> of course he looks like Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. How many people tell you that? All the time, Your Honor. All the time? Yes. You're not Tyson in disguise, are you? No, I'm not, Your Honor. Okay. Are you pretty tough? A little bit. Yeah, see? He's got a good self-image. Uh, I got Danny. Do you have any photographs? Yes. Uh, show them to Inspector Quinn. <coughs> so I'm the white car, and you, got two, and you got two cones, and the two cones are out there where it shows what the, where's the parking spot. It looked like they were trying to uh, save some parking spots for the pizza place. Your Honor, if I was walking down that sidewalk, I would have to walk over those cars in order to proceed without going into the street. Yeah. From the street, whether there's a curb or not, seven to ten feet is considered the f uh, pedestrian walkway, yeah. which would be considered a sidewalk. <clears throat> yeah, but who put the Based cones? Based on his picture, that vehicle is clearly on the sidewalk. Who inspired you to get that tattoo on your face? Mike Tyson. Tyson? It's not the same, something similar, but not the same. Yeah. Does it, did it hurt? No. No? Maybe it did at the time when I was under the influence, but I got seven years clean and sober now. Oh, you had that for more than seven years? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> but at the time, you had no pain. You felt I had no, no pain, pain right? right? No pain. That's a new form of anesthesia, Inspector Quinn. He's a brave man, Your Honor. Okay, you gonna get any more? No, I'm no? all done. You all done? All done. All right. Well, you ended up getting a $100 ticket. The photographs give me a double meaning. I'm gonna reduce the fine to $20. Good luck to you. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, good luck. It's uncanny how much Mr. McKinney and I have in common. We both love Casuta Pizza. We are both pretty tough. And we both got hero-inspired tattoos when we were less than sober. And while Anthony seems proud of his Mike Tyson ink, I, on the other hand, suffer in silent shame over my Jameson-fueled Tom Brady-inspired tattoo of a goat with the number 12 on it. Thankfully, it's a place where only God and my poor wife Colleen can see it. However, if Mr. Brady ever needs proof of my undying devotion, I would be honored to drop trow and show my shaggy goat. After all the thrills he's given me, I think the least I can do is give him one back. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.